50. Hey guys, Melissa here from Melissa's Try Adventures. Finishing up the workout. I wanted you guys to see the end of it. My box step ups with a high kick after my seven mile run, which included a three mile tempo run in the middle, which is just three miles fast, uh, basically in the middle. Uh, and then I wanted to start this week out here uh, before my video just talking about sort of the opposite of what I talked about last week. It's just sort of piggybacking on it. So we talked about starting some habits last week, um, some good habits. Uh, so hopefully you're working on that. I wanted to talk about when you're getting too settled into habits or a way of life and you're maybe avoiding making a change in your life that needs to be made. Some examples I can think of are maybe you're avoiding changing jobs. Maybe you're avoiding going back to school. Maybe you're avoiding stopping drinking. Maybe you're avoiding starting that new workout or signing up for a marathon or a half marathon. Maybe you're avoiding getting out of a relationship. Maybe you're avoiding, uh, my example was I had been avoiding moving out of my house, which is my example. I am uh, was scared to do that because uh, it's scary and the changes I'm talking about making are scary ones and that's why we tend to push them back into the back of our mind and we don't want to think about them. And that's why I'm trying to get you to think about what that is and bring it forward and try to start to take the steps forward to make that change. And then another example I had was uh, a year ago, my main job was be I was a yoga instructor. And if you had told me that now, a year later, I'd be a CNA and a caretaker, I would have told you you were crazy. But in July, I did, I went back to school, got CNA certified, and now I change jobs and I love it. So I want you to think about, if you're putting something off, think about what that is. Usually it's something that is scary and it's something you keep pressing to the back of your mind because you don't want to think about it. So I want you to think maybe if there's something, like I said, those examples, relationship, job, school, anything that's scary to you, think about what that would feel like to move towards accomplishing making that change. Going through the fear, being scared anyways, and moving forward, okay? And you don't have to think about the end result yet. Just think about the steps to start and move forward. Just don't think about all the steps, just think about the first step and move from there, okay? So that's what I want you to do, that's what I want you to think about. And you can always reach out to me if you have questions, uh, but anything in life is scary that is gonna be worth it, that's gonna make a change. If you're too settled in something, that's usually when you need to make a change. Okay, so I want you to think about that. And I'm going to leave you with a couple of quotes. The first one is from Norman Vincent Peale. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Action is a great restorer and builder of confidence. Okay, inaction is not only the result, but the cause of fear. Perhaps the action you take will be successful. Perhaps different action or adjustments will have to follow. But any action, you guys, is better than no action at all. Okay, next quote. I really like this one. Think about this one. 10 years from now, or even one year from now, make sure that you can say you chose your life. You didn't settle for it. Okay, that's a big one. You chose your life you didn't settle for it. All right, so embrace the fear, think about what you may be putting off, and remember guys, <laughs> no fear. balancing on one leg, it's a back bend, really stretches out the hip flexor, stretches out the quad muscles. So as I'm explaining it, I'm also going to apply some life lessons to it that I've been learning myself recently. So grab the back leg, opposite arm comes up, so your opposite or your arm is up on the same leg that's grounded down. Okay, breathe, and as you kick back, using that quad muscle, you're reaching forward, pushing forward. So just like in life, stay grounded, move slow, kick back, 
reach back, but also push forward. You gotta find that balance and keep moving slow, stay grounded, and breathe. 